Okay, very good evening to everyone. Please recite Namotasa three times in order to observe prior precepts as our usual practice. Buddham Saranga Chami Dhammam Saranga Chami Sangam Saranga Chami Dutiyampi Buddham Saranga Chami Dutiyampi Dhammam Saranga Chami Dutiyampi Sangam Saranga Chami Tati Ampi Buddham Saranga Chami Tati Ampi Dhammam Saranga Chami Tati Ampi Sangam Saranga Chami Saranagamanam Sampunnam Panatipata Veramani Sikha Padan Samadhyami Adinadana Veramani Sikha Padang Samadhyami Kameshumichachara Veramani Sikha Padang Samadhyami Musavada Veramani Sikha Padang Samadhyami Sura Mereya Majjapama Dattana Veramani Sikha Padan Samadhyami Tisaranena Saddim Pancha Silan Dhamman Sadhukan Surakitan Katwa Appamadena Sampade Tabhaṁ Namo Thas Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhas Namo Thas Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhas Namo Thas Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhas Meritorious children, friends in the Dhamma, very good evening to everyone. As usual, we are going to listen to the teachings of the Buddha as our monthly uh, Dhamma discussions. And as usual, you know that we have been conducting this Dhamma, the series of Dhamma talks last few years uh, with, a lot of, with having lots of compassion and kindness towards our Sunday school children and also our, our little ones who are here and who are not here with us today. So I am very pleased and I am very pr uh, privileged to share my Dhamma knowledge with you all. Uh, according to my understanding. As you know that we have been discussing and we have been talking about uh, ten perfections uh, since last year and today we are going to talk the, the, the Sith uh, number six, the Paramita, uh, six Paramita of ten perfections. So I want you to pay your attention properly and uh, do not sit very close to each other because sometimes if you sit close to your sister or brother, so sometimes your brother may disturb you or may, your sister may disturb you. Uh, so I want you to get results, a uh, good result of uh, taking part of this Dhamma ceremony. I don't want you to just waste your time come, in, come into here if you do not listen uh, carefully. Uh, and if you do not pay your attention properly towards my talk. So I just want you to um, concentrate your mind and um, uh, behave well uh, until I finish my talk. And uh, later on I'm going to ask you some questions um, about my Dhamma talk. And uh, if you can't answer to those questions, that means you, d you have not or you don't, you have not listened carefully to my talk, right? So don't disappoint your parents and uh, don't disappoint me. So I want you to uh, pay your attention uh, towards my talk, okay? 
So today we are going to talk about very important um, quality, very important topic actually. It is very important um, area and quality that we should develop and that is, um, that is named as patience, uh, shanti paramita. Have you heard about this term before? Shanti. Have you heard about the Shanti Vadi Jataka? You may have or you may have not. This, that's okay. So Shanti means Shanti in Pali, Kanti in uh, Shanti in Sanskrit, Kanti in Pali. So it means um, patience uh, or forbearance or forgiveness. Uh, do you get the meaning? Did you get the meaning? Yeah, patience, right? Patience means a quality that we must develop. Uh, maybe sometime my pronunciation is not, uh, is not 100% accurate according to your um, pronunciation. So, patience, okay? Understand? It's a quality that we must develop uh, in ourselves. Let's get some ideas of uh, the term per patience or uh, kanti or shanti. What do you mean by patience? Patience is the ability, uh, patience means the ability to stay calm and quiet and accept any kind of delay, any kind of criticism and any kind of disturbance physically and mentally or any difficult situations or annoyance without getting upset, without getting angry and without getting any arguments, right? That means patience. Um, that's a quality that we must develop, right? Do you understand the meaning of patience now? Did you get the meaning? Yes. Uh, please uh, be interactive with me, okay? Did you get the meaning of patience? Yeah, right? If you do not, please uh, tell me, okay? Otherwise, it's uh, just a waste of time. So, it's a quality that we must develop in any kind of situations, especially any disturbance or any kind of um, uh, delay or criticisms without getting angry or without getting upset or without having any uh, arguments with the people, especially with your parents. If, uh, if they uh, ask you to do something or if, you, uh, if they advise you, uh, you have to be patient and you have to uh, have patience in order to uh, uh, be a good person, right? So that's the meaning of patience. And uh, many people in this world, they practice patience uh, due to many reasons, right? Why do you practice uh, patience? In many, many reasons. We have many, many reasons why people practice patience, right? So one reason is that People practice patience because due to some time, uh, because of their stupidity, right? Some people behave like they are stupid and then they, pay, uh, they practice patience because of their stupidity, right? So that's one reason. And some people, they practice because sometimes they have some weakness in them, right? Due to weaknesses, sometimes they, people practice patience, right? And sometimes some people, practice patience due to lust, or some are due to hypocrisy, and some are due to greediness of receiving or earning money. So these are the reasons that people practice patience uh, in their daily life, um, in their daily life. And also, that is not the right way of practicing patience, because we have some negative uh, feelings or negative thoughts or negative actions uh, when we practice the, uh, that type of patience. But Buddha recommended, in terms of talking about practice of um, perfections of shanti, perfection of uh, patience, shanti paramita, uh, we should practice patience uh, uh, in order to achieve three uh, bodies of enlightenment, right? three bodies of enlightenment. What is that? If you want to become a Buddha or if you want to be an um, Arahant or if you want to be a silent Buddha, you must practice um, this Shanti Paramita for the greatest level. So that is the explanation of the Buddha. Okay, Don't worry about that. 
Uh, so, uh, no, forget about that. But in our daily life, uh, we also can practice uh, patience if you want to be a successful person in this world and also the, if you want to be a successful person in your next life. So that's why we must have this quality patience, okay? So in that way, when we think about uh, that, that quality, we can uh, speculate, uh, we can think that how important this great quality of patience, right? So do you have patience? Do you have patience, the quality of patience? Are you patient? Sometime, yes, sometime, no, good. Uh, later on, I will explain to you how to develop your patience, okay? And uh, you know that according to the explanation of the Lord Buddha, how Lord Buddha explained to the people, uh, person who is patient, right? Patient is not the sick patient, okay? I am talking about the patient, right? So the both terms are same, the letters are the same. Patient is the adjective of patience and the patient also noun, can be used as a noun, the one who is sick, right? I don't have to explain to you, but I just give you some explanation to the terms. So the Buddha explained that the one who is really patient, according to explanation, the Buddha says, who is capable of bearing coldness, like means winter, winter time, and the heat, uh, and also the thirst, disturbance of flies and mosquitoes, sunlight, wind, snake bites, unaccept unacceptable talks, pleasant talks, bodily pain. So those are the things that the Buddha, uh, uh, Buddha explained that if the person is really patient, so that person should accept, should bear the coldness, the winter, heat, uh, and the unaccept unacceptable talks of the people. So. If you can bear all those types of uh, uh, things, especially uh, uh, environmental changes like hot weather, if you can bear the hot weather during the hot season uh, in terms of practicing um, um, the uh, meditation, in terms of practicing the teachings of the Buddha. So if you can bear those um, changes, that's also kind of great quality of patience. Understand? Understand? Yeah. Sometimes, some people can't bear the heat. Some people can't bear the cold weather, right? So they want to stop doing something because they can't stand the real weather, right? So if you do not have such kind of bear or such kind of um, patience, that means you don't have really good patience to accept or bear all those natural changes and environmental changes, right? So, uh, further I will explain to you very well in, uh, in later on. So, uh, when, uh, so that is the um, one side of practice of patience, right? The Buddha explained that if you are a real pa a person who has good patience, you must bear all those uh, types of natural changes like heat, cold weather, um, and also unacceptable talks of the people, wind, uh, and um, some criticisms in your life. So if you can bear, if you can accept those uh, occurrences, those types of things, uh, without getting anger, or without getting mad, or without getting upset. So that means you are practicing patience, right? Do you have such kind of bearance? Or that, do you have such kind of uh, uh, practice of patience? Can you bear hot weather? Can you bear cold weather? Can you? Of course you can. If you can't, uh, that means you do not have patience. That means you, uh, you have to practice patience. So therefore, the Buddha strongly recommended people to have such kind of mind, such kind of uh, quality, uh, or such kind of practice of patience in order to accept all those natural occurrences and differences in the society. Um, in, for the monks, if monks want to practice meditation, if the lay person want to practice meditation and learn the Buddhism, that person should bear all those types of occurrences. He, he must bear called whether he must bear unacceptable, unacceptable talks or criticism of the people must be uh, accepted. Uh, if that person want to have really a patience in that life. Understand? 
Uh, in terms of studying in your life, also you must have patience. Uh, later on I will explain to you, explain to you okay? Don't worry. Mm. Further, there are many beautiful sayings in Sinhala language. Uh, Sinhala language, okay? There are very beautiful sayings about uh, this quality, patience in Sinhala. Do you want to know them? Do you know Sinhala? Do you know? Yes. In Sinhala, there are so many beautiful sayings about this quality, patience. Right? One is, uh, not in, in Sinhala actually, not only in Sinhala, but in Pali language also. It says, Kanti Paraman Tapo Titika. What does that mean? Kanti means, it means patience. The Kanti patience is the greatest virtue. It is not I said, it is Buddha said. So Kanti patience is the greatest virtue you should develop. It's the greatest quality that you should develop. That's the meaning of Kanti Paramanta Potitika. Not only that, the Buddhist, uh, in the Sinhala it said, Ivasimen Sanasimalabe. What does that mean? If you can uh, have patience, then you can experience real happiness in your life. Right? If you can be a pa patient person, you can experience peace, harmony, happiness in your life. That's why Ivasim and Sanasim Labi. That's the meaning of the singular term. Okay? Did you get the meaning of the singular term? Yeah. And the next one with this, uh, again is explained. Ivasana Dana Rupu Yudayata Jayakodiya. What does that mean? Have you heard about this process? Ivasana Dana Rupu Yudayata Jayakodiya. If you can have patience, if you are a patient person, any kind of victories can be achieved. You can win any kind of victories, whether it is your studies, whether it is your sports, uh, whether, they, uh, whether they are your sports or any kind of uh, goals and aims in your life. Those goals and aims can be achieved if you can practice patience. Isn't that so? If you want to get a good result of your examination, what do you, need, what do you have to do? You have to work hard patiently. Right? And if you want to go have a cup of tea, first thing what do you need to do? What do you have to wait? You have to wait until the water is water hot. Can you make coffee with cold water? Can you make tea with cold water? Maybe you can. <laughs> yeah. If you want to drink hot tea, you have to wait until water becomes hot. Isn't that so? And if you want to eat rice, can you eat rice without cook? Then what do you have to do? You have to wait until the rice cooked. That means we have to be patient. We have to develop patience. Right? A cockle mother, or a computer, a laptop, a switch on color than upon the banner, current again or than upon the banner. In this way, uh, we have to develop this patience in order to accept uh, any kind of um, these things in our life, right? So that's why um, if you want to achieve something, if you want to get something done, you had to wait. You had to wait. Right? Some people uh, want everything to happen very quickly. Instant, like instant noodles, like instant enlightenment. It is not possible to uh, get the things done instantly. It takes time. Everything takes time. Right? For example, if you want to be like your mother and father now, can you be a, your mother and father right now? You can't. You have to wait. You have to wait. You have to practice patience. Isn't that so? So in that way, we can consider and we can think how important this great quality, right? So we must develop. It is very important one in our life. 
no one can live in this world without practicing this great quality. The more you practice this great quality, the greater result you experience in your life. The more you hate this quality, the bad result may come to you always. You never will be a successful person if you do not have enough patience. I can see some of you still you do not have patience to listen to my talk. I can see some of you shaking your hand, some of you are shaking your hands, some of you are shaking your legs. That means you are you do not have patience to listen to my talk. That is not good. Don't look at your parents. Don't look at someone who is around you. Just look at me. I am the one who is talking to you. Okay? If you listen properly, you can remember this teaching. If you can't, if you don't listen properly, you don't remember anything what I am telling here. Okay? Please listen carefully. So that's why the Buddha said that you must have good patience in your daily life. What happens if you do not have enough patience? You become a sick person, patient, right? You become a patient if you do not have patience. And if you do not have enough patience, no one will respect you, no one will associate you. Everyone will criticize you, oh, you are an impatient person, I don't want to be with you. You do not have any kind of patience, right? If I tell you something, uh, you may say something against my things, against my talks, against my words. That means you do not have patience. Understand? So, um, what is the opposite of patience then? What is the opposite of patience? What is the opposite of patience? Impatience. What is the opposite of patience? Can anyone tell me? Impatience, yeah. The opposite of patience is impatience. Which one do you have? You have patience or impatience? Which one do you have most? Be honest, I will give you a lolly later on. Which one do you have? Which, which one your parents have? Patience or impatience? Be honest. Patience or impatience? I think impatience. Patience, very good. Yeah, it's good if you have patience. But if you don't have patience, please develop that. Right? Let's talk about some of the, uh, some of the causes and some of the reasons why people get in, uh, into impatient or why people have loss of impatience. Let's talk about some of the causes and conditions and reasons why people become impatient, okay? Do you want to know the reasons? Yeah, listen carefully. There are plenty of reasons and causes for people to become impatient. I am not, I'm not going to tell you all, but I have selected some of the most important ones. The one is, first one, one of the common one. When people go to work in the morning, when people go to school, when you go to school in the morning, what things you have to encounter on the road? Traffic. Traffic. What else? Accidents. Sometimes slippery roads. Sometimes um, speed limits also we have to be considered, right? So, sometimes I have seen people who do not have enough patience when they're stuck in the traffic, when they're stuck in the traffic lights or color lights, they sometimes want to break the rules. They sometimes want to argue with the people, right? For example, I tell you. Now, let's say uh, traffic lights uh, is on green, right? Green means we are allowed to go, right? Sometimes the, the, the person who is in front of our vehicle, he may not uh, move or he does not move a little bit because maybe he does something or he's doing something or it takes time to move sometime, right? The behind person, the one who is behind his car, what does he do? Peep. He, he pressed his What's that called? 
What is that? Horn, yeah. He pressed the button of the horn. Why? He does not have patience to wait until that pusca moves. Not only that, sometimes I have seen when the people travel on the road, when they drive on the road, sometimes we are easy to make mistakes, right? We are not 100% perfect people in this world. We are about to make mistakes. We are, it is our nature to make mistakes. So sometimes uh, we are supposed to uh, turn to this side or we are supposed to turn to that side. Sometimes we don't turn to that side, but we go straight. Maybe our signals uh, is to turn to left, but we try to go straight. So sometimes because of that, the person who is behind that car uh, um, raise their hands and say some bad words, English bad words. Do you want me to say that? No, I know you all know that. So look at that. Why? What is that? Why people do such kind of things? Because they do not have patience. They can't wait until their times come. Right? Isn't that so? So next time, if you happen to stuck on the traffic lights or on the traffic, don't get angry. Don't get upset with the people and don't say bad words to people who, is in front, who are in front of you. Understand? Please generate some kindness, love and compassion. Or, mm, yeah, it does not hurt me. I just wait until my term come, uh, until I get my opportunity to uh, move my car. Can you wait like that? Can you think like that? If you can think like that, you are such a great human being. You are such a great human being. We won't have you to be like this, right? So that is one reason why people get um, um, impatient, right? Because of when they get stuck on the road, when they get stuck in the traffic, traffic jam, so they get easily uh, upset and they have impatience. If you do not believe, ask your parents, ask your mom and daddy later on, okay? Sometimes they may have practiced this. <laughs> yeah. So that's one reason. And also, when you get into the bus to go somewhere, or when you get into the MRT, or uh, I don't know how it called in here, metro, right? Train, let's say train. If you get into the train to go somewhere, you may encounter some strangers and you may encounter some pe misbehaviors of some people. Sometimes some people uh, talk on their phones on, uh, when they travel on the, uh, on the train, right? Sometimes they uh, speak loudly or sometimes they uh, um, talk with their friends loudly. So this kind of behavior may, may create some frustration uh, or anger within you. Isn't that so? So that can be some cause, that can be some reason for you to have impatience. So sometimes because of that, uh, maybe you can't bear that situation, so you want to go and argue with that person. Hey, please stop that. You will disturb us. Don't talk loudly. So you may have such kind of ideas to go and talk with them. Isn't that so? You may create your own problem because you can't bear that situation. Isn't that so? Right. So that's, uh, that is the second reason why people get, uh, uh, have impatience. The third one, if you have to wait too long in a line at supermarket or airport or in a bank or hospital, to get your service done, um, people become impatient, right? Last time, during the corona pandemic season, I saw some people, in, even in Australia, they fought, uh, they were fighting uh, because of the tissue, because of the items, right? They want to go and grab anyhow all the things before other people come and take, right? And sometimes, it is very polite to be in a line until our things get done, right? If you go to bank, can you cross the line and go and do your things? You can't. You have to wait until your turn comes. Isn't that so? So sometimes some crazy people, they can't wait until their turn comes, until their time comes. They anyhow cross the road, they anyhow cross the line and go and do. 
So that is the uh, third reason why people get impatience, why people have impatience, why people become impatient, right? Because of that kind of uh, waiting they can't accept. And I give a very good example. When I was um, at the airport before to travel to somewhere, I don't remember which place I was heading to go, and the flight was delayed, and then I think one hour, uh, uh, they said one hour due to some traffic, air traffic, and then the, um, we waited one hour, and they, we still can't get into the flights, and they say we had to wait on another one hour or one and a half hours. There was a one person there and he creep in because he could not wait uh, until that time. He started shouting to the, uh, those staffs saying that we can't wait. We have lots of things to do. We have paid money to go. Why you can't provide this service on time? So start criticizing, start arguing with the people start creating problems among them. So that is not a good thing to do. Isn't that so? That is not the great quality to do. That is bad behavior because you do not have impatience. Please practice impatience, okay? And also, that's another reason. The next reason, if you have too much homework to do at your school, sometime if you can't do them, if you can't finish them, you do not have patience. Sometimes you want to tear the books and you want to throw them away and you want to hate your parents, you want to hate your teachers, right? Because you do not have patience to complete or do your homework, right? They want to punish people, they want to tear their books, they want to destroy all their things. And sometimes they, do, uh, they try to punish themselves, right? Because they do not have patience to wait until their homework to get done. You have to be patient. You have to do them patiently, right? Be patient. So that is, if you have too much homework, that means also sometimes it may create some impatience, right? What you need to do is try to do your things um, in the actual day. If, let's say if your teacher asks you to do some homework today, don't wait until to do those uh, homework tomorrow. Don't postpone them to do tomorrow. Just do it uh, today by itself. Then you don't have to wait uh, so much uh, homework and so many days to complete your homework. So that's an, um, another reason. And also, most people want instant result of everything, right? Uh, for example, uh, let's say to go to the city, it may take one hour. So that person may want to go to the city within 30 minutes and he drives maybe um, uh, 100 per hour kilometers, right? So that means drive very fast. They do not have patience to go to the city uh, according to bearing their time limitation. So sometimes uh, some people act in that way. Everything needs to be done instantly. That doesn't work actually. Everything takes time. Every single thing to be done takes time, right? So you have to wait. And also some people get, I can tell you a very good example. In the modern time, some people can't wait until their laptop restart. Sometimes some people can't wait until their laptops are down. They anyhow want to close it. Right? Let's say some programs are still running. Some programs are about to update in our computers. So sometimes they can't wait until the updates or um, uh, any processes completed. Right? They want to anyhow close it. They, sometimes they turn it off. Isn't that so? It's true, right? We do that. We practice that because we do not have patience until those things to be done, until those processes to be completed. Isn't that so, boys and girls? Right? You have such kind of practices actually because you do not have patience. And also some people become impatient because sometimes due to their illnesses, sicknesses. 
right? If they have severe headache, they don't want to get a Panadol, so they don't want to get treatment from the doctors. Uh, they anyhow want to, sometimes they want to get punished by themselves. Sometimes they commit suicide themselves because sometimes they can't accept their, their sicknesses, their um, weaknesses of their health, right? So, what do you have to do? You, if you want to get cure your sicknesses, you have to take medicines. Having taken medicine, you have to wait until those sicknesses get cured, right? Don't ex expect uh, if you take uh, medicine today, don't expect your sickness to be uh, cured or get better tomorrow. It doesn't in that way. Does it work in that way? It doesn't work in that way. Maybe your headache will dust that way, but sometimes other types of sicknesses may not work in that way. You have to wait until your sicknesses and other things get better. It takes time, right? So those are the causes and reasons why people become impatient. Did you get the causes and the reasons of impatience? Yeah. Do you have some of them? Have you practiced some of them? I think yes, you have. And let's talk about the problems of impatience. What are the problems you encounter if you become an impatient person? Can anyone tell me the uh, one problems you experience if you are an impatient person? Can anyone tell me one example, one problem if you become an impatient person? What happened to you? Yep. You become angry, of course. Yes, you are right. Many people become uh, impatient due to those causes and conditions. Because of that impatience, people experience many problems in their daily life. Right? If you have impatience, these kind of problems you may experience. What, do, what are those problems? You may get angry, you may get frustrations, you become frustrated, angry, upset, and then you get stress as well. Stress is one of the main causes of being impatient or impatient. So do you have stress? Do you have stress of your studies? Do you have stress of living here with your parents? Sometimes you have. <laughs> yeah. So stress means the one cause for stress is due to lack of patience. Right? And also due to that stress, you may increase your blood pressure. You may experience high blood pressure because of impatience, right? Impatience creates anger within you. When you have anger, that means your blood circulates very fast. You want to attack, you want to get angry with the people. Isn't that so? Right. And also, you become obesity. And uh, obesity, do you know that? Become fat. Right? Because your body uh, order become, becomes change due to that stress and due to that um, changes. So, your sickness may increase, okay? If you have a patient, impatience, that means you increase various types of sicknesses like high blood pressure, anger, hatred, delusions, um, and also other types of mental problems. You become a mentally ill person if you have impatience. So what, that is one of um, problems if you have impatience. So second one, Work is postponed. The second problem, work and study is, works and studies are postponed if you have impatience, right? Sometimes uh, some children, oh, today is too hot weather, today is too cold in the morning, oh, today it's rains, I don't want to go to school, I may stay at home, I will go tomorrow to school. Because it's too hot weather today, mother, I can't go to school. Or sometimes they act like, oh, I have tummy ache, Backache, headache, I can't go to school. They postpone their works due to lack of impatience. Why? If, you, if it is rains and if it is hot weather, 
Or if it is cold weather, you can wear a jacket, right? Or you can wear a, a suitable clothes to, uh, to get a um, warm body, right? So that's, that's how we do, we, that's how we accept reality. And if it is hot weather, you can bring an umbrella or you can ask your daddy or mother to drive you to the school, right? Don't postpone your studies, don't postpone your work. What, right? That's why the Buddha said that if you have impatient, you may postpone your work, your studies. What happens if you postpone your work and studies? You will lose your job, you will lose your studies, you may not be able to get a good result of your studies. Why? Because you postpone due to hot weather. Hot weather may come always, hot we cold weather may come always, not only today. If it comes today, tomorrow it can, be, it can come again. Isn't that so? So the hot weather, cold weather never going to stop. But you have to accept, you have to prepare yourself to accept that reality and you have to be patient. Don't postpone your work. Don't postpone your studies. Continue doing them. And also some people get addicted to drugs and alcohols and getting into fights due to lack of impatience, right? Some people think that they can find peace and happiness if they can take alcohols or drugs. Sometimes when they get stressed, sometimes they, when they become impatient, so they find uh, drugs and alcohol as their friends in order to overcome from the problem. What happens if you take drugs and alcohol? You become drunkard person, right? You become drunk. And when you become drunk, what, what do you do usually? You want to fight with the people. You want to argue with the people. You want to um, uh, say some bad words to some people who is next to you. Isn't that so? So if you have impatience, so impatience may lead you to take drugs and alcohols and may create problems within you in your daily life. So alcohols and um, drugs may not help you to develop uh, your impatience. So it may create some health problems in you. Right? I, I want to give a very good example, but we don't have enough time to explain to you where um, the, having lots of uh, stories. And also, if, if you get uh, addicted to drugs and alcohol, at the end, because of fights, you may have to go to jail. The police will catch you. The police may come and put you to the jail. So then your entire life will be will over. Well, you want to do like that? You want to be like this? Then please practice patience. Right. And the, the fourth one, if you, are a, if you are an impatient person, you don't look too far off. That means you make instant quick decisions. We have, in Singhala we say, Dura, dura Diga Nobala Thira Nagana. In Singhala. We take quick actions and quick um, solutions without having looked consequences of the actions without having thought three times before you do the actions. We say in singular, Tumpa Rakhitan Yamakarana Pira. Think once, think twice. No, you had to think three times if you want to do something, right? That's why if you have impatient, you may create quick and instant decisions. You know what? Many Inventions in this world, many creations in this world are due to patience, are due to uh, practice of uh, patience. Do you know that um, Thomas Allah Edison, who is he? He's the one who invented the light, electric light bulb. How many times he was unsuccessful? 999 times. Did he give it up? He did not give it up. He kept continue, he kept continue until he became a successful person. 
because of great dedication and because of great, great invention, we are still having this light, electric light bulbs. So if you have patience in you, you also cre can create lots of beautiful invention. You can create beautiful thoughts in you, right? You must have patience in that way. And also, if you are an impatient person, you may lose your friends. Nobody wants to associate with you if you are an impatient person, right? Oh, I don't want to associate him because he always argue if I ask him to do something. If I explain him not to do something, uh, to do something, uh, but he don't want to listen to me, he always want to argue with me. Uh, so, if you are an impatient person, nobody wants to associate with you. And some people, there are some friends who always look at the clerks when your friends talk. Why? They want their friends to stop their talking. They do not have patience at all to wait until their friends stop their talking. And there are some bad habits of people and friends. They want to put the words of the other people's mouth, right, to complete their talks, to complete their words, because they don't want to wait until they finish their talking. That's very bad. So you have to wait until the things, until the things get done or until people tell the things properly. Then you, can, you may have lots of good friends and uh, many friends want to associate um, you. And also, um, problems of having impatience, domestic violence, family violence, and world war are due to what? Lack of impatience. At our home, we usually see domestic violence. In Australia, the rate of domestic violence has increased. Why? Because when mother asks her husband to do something, but husband may refuse it. When the husband asks his wife to do something, the wife may refuse then start creating arguments, start creating quarrels between each other. So domestic violence create among them, right? So why? Why you can't practice patience at your home? When your mother asks you to do, why you can't accept it? And why can't you keep quiet and do it? Right? Don't argue with them. Don't argue with your parents. Don't argue with your friends and your parents and siblings. You can bear it. You can keep quiet when your parents uh, uh, advise you to do something. You keep quiet and you, or maybe you can step down or you can go somewhere and stay until you cool down. Don't argue with them. It's not good. So that is the bad result if you have I know this is the second one, third one, less stress and physical problem. If you have enough 
patients less stress and less physical, physical problem. You may not get stress, you may not get uh, diabetics or you may not get obesity, you may not get, uh, get high blood pressure, mental problems, physical problems, all can be overcome by patients. You don't have to take pills if you have stress. Right? Some people go to doctor and take the medicines if, when they get stress. You don't have to do that. What you have to do, you have to practice this great quality of patience. Then you can overcome all those physical and mental problems. Right? Just go and practice it. Just go and see and practice and you may experience the great um, physical and mental health. health. And also if you are a patient person, you may have not enemies, right? Everybody wants to be with you. You may not experience any enemies with you because you have patience. Patience means love and compassion. Everybody, uh, you may listen to your friends, your friends may listen to you. So in that way you create um, friendly, harmonious environment if you practice patience well. And peaceful death. Peaceful death also very important in our life. When you are about to die, you must have peace in yourself. How can you have peaceful death? When you have patience, then you may create positive thoughts in your mind. If you have patience, that means you will eradicate all those negative thoughts in you. Right? So you want to if you want to have peaceful death, please practice patience. When you have patience, all the negative thoughts may um, vanish from you and all the positive thoughts may come to you. And also, you may have fortunate rebirth in the future, right? You may have fortunate rebirth in the future if you practice this great quality. Because when you have patience, you don't do those bad things. You don't fight, you don't argue, you don't uh, say bad words to people. So in that way, you may create lots of wholesome deeds in you. Right? So that's, those are the positive results, positive outcomes of practicing patience. There are lots of beautiful stories of the Buddha and the, uh, some other monks who practice uh, patience. Right? Um, for example, Buddha practiced patience to his monks very well. You know that when Barahula, Angulimala, Devadatta, Chinchimanika, Magandhya, Sundari, Paradbrajika, and Dhanapal, Elephant. So those are the characters, those are the people that Buddha practice his great patience towards. Right? Um, and one of the famous stories is that Shantivadi Jataka. Have you read the Shantivadi Jataka story? Yeah, if you have time, you please go and read it. I don't have time to read the story here. So, uh, in the, in the Santi Vadi Jataka Buddha, uh, Bodhisattva, before becoming the Buddha, he practiced this patience in order to achieve his goal of Nibbana. Right? You please go and read it. Uh, have you heard about the Venerable Sariputta? And Venerable Sariputta wo, uh, was attacked by two times. Uh, one time by a demon, Yakka, and another time one is the Brahma, Brahma uh, attacked him. But Venerable Sariputta did not uh, take any reactions against those attacks. He patiently waited and he uh, developed compassion uh, in, in, on those attacks. And also Venerable Punna. Venerable Punna wanted to go to Sunaparanta, uh, the place where there were furious people and aggressive people. And before he went there, Venerable Punna came to Buddha and asked, Lord Buddha, I want to go to Sunaparanta and I want to preach them the Dhamma. Then the Buddha said, Punna, please think twice, think three times if you really want to go there. Why? Because people in those areas are furious and aggressive. If you go there, they will kill you, they will hurt you, they will assassinate you. So they thought, the Lord Buddha said in that way, there are lots of uh, arguments, uh, not arguments, uh, actually discussions, dialogues between the Buddha and the Venerable Punna. I don't have time to go through all those. So the Venerable Punna uh, said to the Buddha, it's okay, I can accept any kind of problems in the Sunaparanta place. I have enough patience. 
I have great I have practiced great quality of patients, so I don't have to worry about the people. So at the end, uh, um, the Buddha said that Punna, you are qualified to go. Right? Um, very beautiful discussions actually, dialogues between the Venerable Punna and Sariputta. I wanted to read them, but no time. So very nice. At the end, Venerable uh, Punna uh, was qualified to go because the Buddha said, Venerable Punna, you are qualified to go this, uh, sun, uh, to this area, Sunaparanta. And Venerable Punna went there and he preached the Dhamma and he was able to uh, give ordination for 500 uh, lay uh, male disciples and also he could ordain 500 female disciples. So, Venerable Punna had a very, this great quality of patience. He was one of the greatest uh, patient monk at that time. Right? So he had uh, that kind of quality. And also, another story I want to tell you is that um, Lord Buddha together with the Venerable Monks uh, and a lamp, uh, one little young noise monk together with the Buddha where they decided to go on the journey. They decided to go another place. So on the way they had to cross the many, uh, many towns and cities. So one day they had to wait, uh, they had to stop on that town. And the Venerable, uh, then Lord Buddha requested, asked one of the youngest and one of the naughtiest uh, little monk to go and bring some water to the Buddha. Mm, then the, this little monk, um, even though he is naughtiest and even though he is uh, youngest one, he did not want to argue with the teacher, the Buddha. He accepted it and he went to the lake and to, to bring, the some, bring some water. When the little monk go, uh, go, went there, uh, he saw that a group of oxen, group of cows were crossing the ocean and due to that crossing the water become dirty and muddy. Then little monk, the naughtiest monk came back to the Buddha and told the Buddha, oh, this water was not suitable to drink. The, uh, the water was muddy and dirty. I don't want to bring and give it to you. Then he said like that. One hour later, the Lord, Lord Buddha asked him again, Come, monk, please go and bring the water. Then, even though he wanted to refuse that, because he, the Buddha was his teacher, he, don't, he did not want to refuse, or he did not want to say no, he went there. When he went there for the second time, the water was still dirty and muddy. And he was a little bit upset and came back and said, the water is still dirty, you can't drink, I don't want to bring them, said in that way. Then the, a bit later, the Buddha asked again, why Buddha wanted to say that? Buddha wanted to train this little monk to practice patience, and he asked him to go again. When he went there, then he realized and he saw the water was crystal clear, the water, the muddy, all gone, and the water was clear. And then he brought some water to Buddha. And having seen the water, Buddha asked, Venerable, a young monk, what have you done to make this water clear? It, the water was crystal clear. It is ob obvious he has not done anything. He did not do anything to make the water clear. Isn't that so? The, then the Buddha said that you, 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 your mind also something like that. What, you didn't do anything to make the water clear. What you had to do? You had to wait. You had to wait patiently. Don't wait and don't expect things to be done instantly, quickly. Everything takes time to be done. So the water takes time to get, uh, get pure itself, right? And uh, the mar muddy water may take time to become a pure water. So your mind also sometimes like that. Our minds also polluted or dirty uh, because of this mud or this, because of the negative thoughts. So don't, when your mind is dirty due to those negative thoughts in your mind, due to those unwholesome thoughts in your mind, please don't uh, make any decisions or don't take any actions. Just wait. Because if your, if your mind is polluted, if your mind is 
deluded by those unwholesome thoughts or unwholesome um, ideas, you may create some bad um, decisions actually. Right? You may create problems. That's why Buddha said that little man, likewise this water took its time took it times to get clear. You had to wait to get things done in your life. Likewise, my dear children, don't expect everything to be happened quickly. Everything takes time in your in our life, right? Please be patient, right? And those are the things that I want to tell. Now let's talk about how we practice patience. The Buddha said that we had to come contemplate, contemplate on this matter. We have to focus on this great virtue always. Contemplate on. Right? Uh, because patience is the weapon for the anger. Right? If you have anger, so if you want to overcome your anger, what is the good weapon? What is the weapon to overcome your anger? Fight? No. What is the weapon? Patience. Patience is the great weapon to overcome your anger. And also, if you want to defeat your hatred, what is the best method? What is the best weapon? Again, patience. Right? The patience is something like water to set off fire of hatred. What, what, usually, what do usually people use to extingu extinguish fire? They use water, right? In order to stop fire, in order to stop burning. So sometimes the people use fire, sometimes they get or something else, some other substance. So if you want to end or if you want to eradicate your anger or hatred, Please develop your patience. Patience is like water to eradicate your thirst of anger. Right? If you have thirst of anger, please use the water of patience to eradicate that thirst of anger. And also, patience is a medicine to destroy verbal poisons of person. If you have poison words towards your parents, to, towards your family members, like bad words, so best medicine is practice of patience. When they ask you to get up in the morning to go to school, don't say any bad words to them. Please practice patience. When they ask you to eat before you go to sleep, don't use bad words to them. Use patience. That's a good medicine. Understand? Don't argue with your parents. If you argue with your parents, you get diabetics. You get fat body. And you get stress. And you get what? Physical problems and mental problems. Please don't be an impatient person. Okay? This is good. And also, patience is the door to heaven. If you want to go to heaven, what you, have, you must have? Patience. I want to go to heaven. I must have patience. If you want to go to heaven, you must have patience. And if you want to go to hell, if you want to be an animal, what, what you should have? Impatience. Impatience. If you have impatience, goodbye to human life. See you in the animal world. See you in the hell. Decision is up to you. So please be, an, be a patient person. Right? Good. And also, if you want to be a ladder to climb to the heaven, Please practice patience. And if you want to plant good seeds in yourself, the field of merits, please develop patience. Patience is a good seed of all the other actions, right? 
if you want to plant this good seed in you, then please try to plant that good seed in you, the seed of patience. Then you can experience all the good qualities, good uh, actions in your life. So those are the things that I want to tell you today. And uh, it's still I have something to tell, but it's not time to tell, right? Because we have to get ready to our, our next item, Atavisi Sambuddha Puja, later on. So, to sum up this Dhamma talk, my dear children, I hope you learned something from my talk today. And I want you to bring something from my talk when you leave from this hall. When you step back to, when you step back from this hall, please bring something from this talk. Please try to bring this great quality of patience with you. And try to develop that patience in your daily life, right? In your studies, if you want to perform very well, please practice patience. If you want to win the world of your parents, please practice patience. If you want to get a new clothes, if you want to get a good food, if, you're going to good, uh, if you want to get a good treat from your parents, uh, uh, good a birthday present from your parents, please practice patience. And most importantly, if you want to get lollies from me, please practice patience. Patience is a very good quality we must develop. Okay? Can you promise to me that you're going to practice patience to your, towards your pa uh, mother, father, towards your teacher and towards everyone. Don't tell me lies, okay? Don't break promises. Okay, I will ask your parents, what is the progress of your uh, children? Have they practiced patience or they become more impatient? I will ask them. And I will come to uh, your houses and I will uh, maybe punish you because you do not practice my, the Buddha's teaching, okay? Uh, that's all about impatience today. I hope you will practice this great quality in your daily life, and I wish you all the best. I, I hope you will practice patience in your daily life, and I hope you will be a great children to your children, to your parents, to your mother and father, and great uh, children to your teachers as well and great beings to the Lord Buddha and great children to our Sunday school and to the world. Wish you all the best. Good luck. Teruan Saranaya.